All right, welcome to 8.6, more multiplication of matrices. Um, today we are going to explore something called row by column multiplication of matrices, which is a little bit different than what we did yesterday, the scalar multiplication. Um, this is going to reserve, this is going to serve as a review for you on how to do this because um, it, it can be a little bit tricky, I suppose, um, but I do believe once you practice it enough, it's not too bad. A um, couple things you need to remember. Um, these can only be done when the number of columns in the first matrix is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So let's say we have a matrix that's a 3 by 4 and the second one is a 4 by 3. If these inside numbers here match up, then you're allowed to do the multiplication. Okay. So again, if you have a 1 by 5 and a 5 by 4, if these inside numbers match up, then you can do the multiplication. All right. Um, What's going down here? The dimensions of the ma resulting matrix is the number of rows in the first and the number of columns in the second matrix. So again, let's look at the same examples that we had before. Um, again, we got four and four, same number on the inside. Now our resulting matrix, when we do the multiplication for this one, will be a three by three matrix. Okay, our answer will be a three by three. Um, again, using the same example, I have a one by five and a five by four. My resulting matrix, my answer matrix will be a one by four matrix. Okay. So whenever you're doing matrix multiplication, the first thing you need to do is check this. Okay. Write out your dimensions, rows, then columns. And if the middle number matches for both of them, then you can go ahead and do the multiplication. And the second thing you need to check is, well, what is my answer, um, my answer matrix going to look like? And that is the dimensions of the outside row for the first matrix and column for the second matrix. That'll always be what your answer looks like. All right, so let's move on to the next part here. Um, how do I actually do the multiplication? We haven't talked about that yet. So the first thing that I want to talk about is... Um, how to do this, okay? If you look at this example here, um, again, I'm gonna go through the check. This is a two by three matrix, and this is a three by two matrix. And if I check my middle numbers, yep, I got three and three, and my answer is gonna be a two by two. So I got two here, two here, two here. And if you look at what this example is showing you, okay, it shows this row, being multiplied by this column, okay? The row of the first and the column of the second. Your first matrix is always rows, always rows. So a lot of times I recommend that people just split that up right away. Your second matrix is always columns. It's always columns, okay? Pen in there. Um, so you can split it this way. What they are doing in this example is taking one times seven plus two times nine plus 3 times 11, and adding all of that up to get this 58 right here. And then they would continue doing that, okay? Let's look at one that would go a little bit quicker. All right, so I got a 2 by 3 matrix here, and I got, oh, I'm sorry, 2 by 2, um, like that. 2 by 2 matrix, and I got a 2 by 3 matrix over here. All right, so my middle numbers match up. And my answer matrix is going to be a two by three. So I'm going to set up an answer matrix as a two by three. That's two rows and three columns. And I'm just doing these little blanks here so that I can keep track of where I'm at. Okay. Again, I'm going to take the first matrix and split it in the rows. Second matrix, split it in the columns. All right, here we go. Um, first part, if I'm going to find this answer right here. I have to take the row of the first and the column of the second, because I am in row one, column one right here. So I got two times one, which is two, and two and four times zero, which is zero. So the answer that goes here is two, all right? Now, what I recommend is that you just fill up the first column right away. Do this one first so that it's a little bit methodical. All right, you have, you're doing the same repetition over and over again. So in order to now find this blank, all I got to do is now hop to this column here, the second column in the second matrix. I still use my 2 times 3. Okay, so I got 2 times 3, which is 6. And I got 4 times 2, which is 8. 
and 6 plus 8 gives me 14. So 14 goes here. All right, now I'm going to find this answer. I'm still using this row, and now I'm going to use the third column. So I got 2 times 3, which is 6 again, and 4 times 1, which is 4, and 6 plus 4 gives me 10. So that's my first row. All right, now I'm going to hop down to this one. I'm going to find this answer. So now i got to go back down to this row in the first matrix, because now I'm in the second row here, and now back to the first column. So I got 1 times 1, which is 1, and 2 times 0, which is 0. So my answer here is 1. Hopping over to find this answer now, I got 1 times 3, which is 3, and 2 times 2, which is 4. So my answer here is 7. And the last one here, I got 1 times 3, which is 3, and 2 times 1, which is 2. So my answer here is 5. Okay, hopefully that's a good enough explanation on how to do your row by column matrix multiplication. Remember, you always want to check first to see if your middle numbers match up when you write out the dimensions, and then your answer matrix is always going to be your outside numbers afterwards. All right, good luck. Talk to you later.